I just put it to uh, to Neve, I think. Sure. Um, so Ireland have beaten um, Argentina 10 out of 16 times, but they've lost three out of four times at the World Cup. Do you think there's any particular reason for this, or is it just bad luck with injuries like the, the case of the last World Cup? Um, yeah, that's actually a really good question. Look, unlike Mike, I'm probably too young to remember many of the last World Cups that we've lost. <laughs> um, me, so, <laughs> um, my big abiding one's the last two, I suppose, that we've lost. Um, and look, the last one was hugely unfortunate. I think, as I, you know, I've said to Adrian already today that I don't think anybody would have coped with losing five frontline players like we did, not even New Zealand. I think um, when players like that are so important and you lose them all at one time, um, it's incredibly difficult. Yes, you try and replicate as many as you can but Paul O'Connell, Peter Manny, John Sexton, these are all world-class players and um, it's very difficult to try and, and replicate that. And I think there's also that mental thing of a World Cup where we get past the group stage and can't get past the quarter-final and um, that's why I think 2019 is so exciting because Joe will have had uh, so much with the, these players and he's will have blood so many of them that um, it'll be very interesting to see. Thanks, Owen. Well done. Fair play to you. Um, some other good stuff coming through on Twitter here. One from uh, Jackie, Mike. This one I'm going to put to you. What's the, uh, what's the potentially, what's the best uh, takeaway, not the fast food kind, it says in brackets here, uh, for Joe Schmidt uh, from these Autumn Internationals and any, reason, any areas of Ireland's game a worry looking forward to the Six Nations? Good question. Um, so a takeaway is, I, I suppose, building forwards is going to give the, the squad a huge amount of confidence to beat South Africa by 30 points, to put your second team out against Fiji, and let's remember Fiji are ranked, were ranked higher than Argentina in that game, so one above them. So uh, it's going to give the squad a huge amount of confidence. Um, I think maybe in the South Africa game, one area, although it was 30 points hammering, a couple of times, which we saw a bit in the Six Nations last year, where we can get a little bit narrow in defence and teams can get outside us. I think yeah. South Africa did get outside us a couple of times, but they threw it into touch or dropped the ball. So maybe that's a, a little area to look at, a bit more width in defence. Um, and, you know, talking about width in defence, that's where Argentina beat us in the quarter-final. Um, we were, normally you'd go tackler plus one, so we were putting tackler plus two or three into the breakdown. We were very narrow in defence, couldn't get, couldn't get any width in our, in our D-line and, and line speed. So... I think since Andy Farrell's come in, that's been a big focus of getting more numbers in the D-line. And when you've got numbers in the D-line, you can come off hard off the line and get in their faces. All right, lots of good stuff coming through on Twitter that we are going to come back to at halftime and full-time as well. But before we go, we're doing a touch on this one. Uh, Eve, you can take the midfield. Minefield is how I've worded it there. Minefield, just because it looks a bit like midfield, but really for no other reason. But an opportunity to talk about that Irish midfield. Bundy Aki and Chris Farrell get their opportunity again today. Yeah, look, I think it's definitely something that we've been, you know, that Joe's stated that he's wants to try and um, increase that strength and depth. I think, you know, we've been incredibly fortunate to have uh, Brian Driscoll, Gordon Darcy for so long. We've been trying to replicate that since. I think Henshaw and Ringrose probably were in the driving seat for so long and um, injuries now have started to, you know, open up opportunities for our players. Mm. I'm a huge fan of Bundy Ackies. I love how he plays. Um, and also Chris Farrell, I think he's, you know, he's settled into Munster really well. He's come home t for the purpose of playing for our Ireland um, and it's a huge opportunity for him I don't think last week probably saw the best of him I think he'll he have benefited hugely from an 80 minute mm. cap under his belt and, and coming in today with players like Conor Murray and Jonathan Sexton and Rob Kearney outside him he'll, um, he'll benefit from that hugely so yeah look I, I definitely do think but you have to remember like Ringrose and, and Henshaw injured um, it's only a good thing for, for Irish rugby really oh, I was just going to say on Bundy Aki I think he had a really solid start, really good game against South Africa, but we saw how good he is defensively. Yeah. I think there's so like we didn't really see too much of him in attack, and I think I think that's really exciting going forward. I think we'll see a lot more of him in attack because he's he's lethal, he's so explosive, really good at getting his hands out of the tackle, and um, I think that's one area that we can see more of him this week. All right, good stuff. Thanks so many guys. We don't get a sense from the uh, audience about where you're what you're at in terms of your confidence in this one because uh, Mike a little bit earlier sort of put the confidence meter sort of way off the scale down here. In the what are we oh, thinking? Are we Go in this sort of direction, everyone. Are we? Yeah. Bit more. Yeah. This, are, we, are we here? Yeah. Woo! A bit more. A bit more. Yeah. That's that's kind of what we're thinking. That's that's the way things are going here. We're uh, we're in pretty confident humour. So the last uh, thing we need you to do, Mike, give us your score prediction there. If I remember the last time, you were wildly wrong. No, I was, I was close. <laughs> 42-12. I said you 46-12 earlier on. Oh, I mean, don't you copy me. Need, yeah. <laughs> you always I told, copy me. I told you, and you just... <laughs> <laughs> Silly for me. You said 6-0. 6-0. <laughs> <laughs>
46-15, yeah, that's that's fair enough. You're no, nobody too confident that Argentina are going to get any scores here. I think uh, all of which we'd welcome. That's it from the Viva Fan Studio right here on the Off the Ball channels for now. We're going to be back with you again at halftime, so get your questions in for Neve, for Mike and for Andrew who's going to rejoin us and we'll be back with you at full time as well. But for the minute from the Viva Fan Studio, come on Ireland everybody! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.